Hello, Internet. So today, I'm going to be cracking open the Fist of the Gadgets booster box. And don't really have much to say about it myself, so we'll just get right into it. up, packs out, and get started. And once again, I'll be going a bit slower just because most of these cards I probably haven't seen before. And So we have Brotherhood of the, Fi the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Tiger King. And this uh, card is XE summoned. You can set one fire formation spell stra uh, spell slash trap directly from your deck. Hmm, decent enough. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and negate the effects of all face-up effect monsters currently on the field except Beast Warriors until the end of your opponent's turn. This card is sent from the field to the graveyard. You can send three fire formation spells and traps you control to the graveyard. Special summon two level four lower Beast Warrior monsters with the same attack from your deck. In face-up defense position. I mean, that, that seems all right. Like, it's very specific for what, what it does, but, I mean, decent enough. Defcon Bird. You can discard one other Cybers monster. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. Once per turn, when your Cybers monster is targeted for an attack, you can make its attack and defense become double its original attack. Then you can change it to defense position. This attack slash defense change lasts until the end of the damage step. Now I'm trying to think, because this one is uh, being filmed after the hidden, uh, the legendary summoners box. I don't remember there being any uh, cyber monsters in that one that had higher, like much higher attack than their than their defense. Uh, and uh, one of them was even just straight up zero attack, 2100 defense, so. Hey! Green gadget. When it's card is normal spe or special summoned, you can fetch out red gadget from your deck, add it to your hand. So, wouldn't mind getting a full playset of all three of them. Amorphage Lecree. Lechery? When you control an Amorphage monster, neither player can activate spell cards on their or their effects, except for Amorphage cards. Decent enough. Once per turn during your standby phase, tribute one monster or destroy this card. Not so decent enough. And if this card is Pendulum Summoned or flipped face up, Neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck while this card is face up on the field, except for Amorphage monsters. So this is very much, if you're running a uh, Amorphage decks, you're locking your opponent out. I mean, it's fair enough. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Elephant. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one face up fire formation spell trap you control to the graveyard. Special summon one Fire Fist monster from your hand except for ele uh, Elephant. You can target one Fire Formation spell slash trap in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. Hmm, fair enough. Then you can add one level 5 or higher Fire Fist monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. Like, this seems uh, decent enough. Very, very much good for uh, resetting cards and getting out what, exactly what you need. At least as far as level 5 monsters go. So I guess getting exactly what you need, as long as that thing that you need is a level 5 monster. Actually, was it level 5 or was it level 5 and lower? Level 5 or higher. Okay. Yeah, so you can use it to fetch out your boss monsters. We have Scrap Recycler. 
When this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one machine monster from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can shuffle two level 4 earth monsters from your graveyard into the deck. Draw one card. I mean, that, that's... Uh... <laughs> you can send one machine monster. I mean, you... yeah, fair, fair enough. It, it gets the job done. Another Brotherhood of the Firefist Tiger King. Signet Optimization. If your Code Talker monster battles your opponent, cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. During your main phase, you can immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one Cybers monster. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Cybers monsters. You can only use the effect once per turn. It's, uh, stop your opponent from uh, using monster effects and traps when they battle. And when it comes out, it uh, has an, another effect on top of that. So, I mean, seems decent enough. LFAs. Gain 300 attack for each monster this card points to. I mean, it, it could become 2600 for... Uh, Not too hard for it to become 2600. If this Link Summon card leaves the field, you can target one level 4 or lower Cybers monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but for the rest of the turn, its effects are negated and it cannot be used as Link material. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, it has a decent enough replace effect for when it dies. Boot up Admiral. Destroyer Dynamo. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending two gadget monsters from your hand and or face up on the field to the graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while you control a gadget monster or a gadget monster card equipped with a monster. Once per turn you can target one other card on the field. Destroy it. Like this, is, this is just a straight up good card if you're running uh, gadgets it looks like. I mean it's very easy to get the... Uh, the two gadget monsters. I mean, you play green, you put red into your hand. Hey, now you have one on the field and one in your hand. Yeah, because it is hand and or face up on the field. You know, discard them and you just drop him down. And as long as you can keep putting out more uh, gadgets, he can't be destroyed. So, well, that, that's a very nice one. I, I hope I get enough gadget cards that I can actually make a gadget deck. Because that seems a, a very good uh, gimmicky style deck. We have Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. To tribute summon this card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap you control instead of a monster. Oh, decent enough. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect while well, you control this tribute summon monster, quick effect, you can take one true Draco or true King continuous trap from your deck and either activate it or add it to your hand. I mean, not too bad of a, uh, you know, you can use continuous spell or trap as well as uh, monsters. And lets you fetch stuff from your deck, so I mean, it's decent enough. Spool code. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, while you have three or more Cybers monsters in your graveyard, negate the attack, then you can special summon up to three Spool tokens. In defense position, these tokens cannot be tributed for a tribute summon, but you can still use them for Link summons. Subterror Final Battle. Activate one of the, 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 the. activate one of these effects. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. Change one set sub terror monster on the field to face up attack or defense position. Change one face up. Change one set sub terror monster. Huh. 
Change one face-up sub-terror monster on the field to face-down defense position. Attack defense of one sub-terror monster on the field becomes equal to its combined original attack and defense until the end of turn. And activated effects of sub-terror monster cards cannot be negated. So, good support for sub-terror. Uh, Chronograph Sorcerer. During your main phase, you can destroy this card, take one Time Gazer Magician from your hand or deck, and either place it in the Pendulum Zone or Special Summon it. You can only use this effect of Chronograph Sorcerer once per turn. If a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can Special Summon this card from your hand, then you can Special Summon one monster from your hand. You can banish this card you control plus four monsters from your hand, field, and or graveyard. One each with Pendulum Dragon, Xyz Dragon, Synchro Dragon, and Fusion Dragon in their names. Special Summon one Supreme... King Zark from your extra deck. So, not sure how good he actually is. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, I, I pulled quite a few of the uh, Supreme King Zarks in the, uh, I think it was the Legendary Summoner's box. And, I mean, it, it's hard to get out, but, I mean, if you can get it out, congratulations, you basically won. Arcfiend's Manifestation. Summon Skull plus one Dark Monster. This card's name becomes Summon Skull on the field, but is still treated as an Arcfiend card. All Summon Skull you control gain 500 attack. If this Fusion Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card, you can Special Summon one Summon Skull from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Mm. You know, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it seems to be decent enough. I mean, he's effectively a 3,000 uh, attack beat stick when he comes out. Replaces himself with Summon Skull when he dies, so. It, it is good to see that the old cards like uh, Summon Skull and Blue Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician, uh, you know, they, they haven't been forgotten by the developers. So. Boot up order, gear charge. When this card is activated, you can target any number of gadget monster cards you control that are equipped to a monster. Special summon them, you can discard one card, out, add one boot up admiral, destroy your dynamo from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effective boot up order, gear charge, once per turn. You can only activate one boot up gear charge per turn. Yeah, no, I mean, it seems like it's good support for uh, gadgets. Power Hold, the Moving Battery. Special Summon this card as an effect monster. Then you equip one level 4 machine gadget from your hand on or deck to this card. This card is also still a trap. If summoned this way, this card gains attack equal to double the attack of the monster equipped to it by this effect. So another one of the... Uh... Oh, what was the name of the one from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? The uh, Moving Fortress. Except that one needed... Uh, you had to have the uh, red, blue, and yellow gears, but then it gave him 3,000 attack. This one, very similar effect, but they get attached onto it. We have Red Gadget. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one yellow gadget from your deck to your hand. And Brotherhood of the Fist Rooster. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Fire Fist monster, you can add one Fire Fist monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Brotherhood of the Fire Fist once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one face-up Fire Formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard. Set one Fire Formation spell or trap directly from your deck. Yeah, no, it seems like a good uh, all-around card. Boot Up Order Gear Force. When either player's monster declares an attack and all monsters you control are face up machine monsters, minimum one, destroy attack position monsters your opponent controls up to the number of machine monsters you control. So, you know, that, that just seems like an all around good uh, card for the gear decks. I, I, so far, I really like the gears. And just the way that they all, uh, uh,
I really don't want to say interlock with each other because that would just sound like a bad pun. So we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. Once per turn, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can set one fire formation spell directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can set one face up fire formation spell or trap you control to the desk to the graveyard. Then target one monster on the field, destroy that target. I haven't seen any uh, fire formation spells or traps yet. I have absolutely no idea how good they are. But I mean, it, it's a good enough effect. So. Subterror Fiendus. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one sub, sub terror monster you control, negate the activation, then change the target monster to face down defense position. You can target one face up monster you control, change it to face down defense position, and if you do, special summon one sub terror monster from your hand or graveyard. In face up or face down defense position, you can only use each effect of sub terror fiendus once per turn. Yeah, so it's decent hand trap for protecting their sub-terrors, I'm assuming. Like, I, I, I'm working, going out on a limb and assuming that these sub-terrors are things that uh, they have effects when they're either flipped face up or uh, when they're flipped face down. Another L phase. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. To tribute summon this card, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap you control. Fair enough. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this tribute summon monster, quick effect, you can add one true Draco or true King monster from your deck to your hand. So, basically the same as the... Uh, 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 Draco Knight. Arcfiend's Call. This card's name becomes Summon Skull on the field, but is still treated as an Arcfiend. Your opponent cannot target any Summon Skull you control with card effects. If this Synchro Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card, <clears throat> you can Special Summon one Summon Skull from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So it's... Hmm. So this one gives protection against card effects. The other one, I believe, just boosted their stats. And then they both bring out uh, Summon Skull when they go to the graveyard. So, I, I mean, it seems decent enough. So we have <clears throat> yet another, just a moment. Uh, sorry about that. So anyways, we have Defcon Bird, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. Cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a beast warrior monster. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one level three fire monster with 200 or less defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position, and if you do, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn, except Beast Warrior monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, it's a tuner. Just a moment. <sighs> Don't you just love obvious scammers trying to scam you? Anyways, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. Um... Yeah, no, I mean, it brings out another uh, Fire Fist Spirit with it. Seems decent enough. Well, it brings out another level 3 Fire Monster. Yeah, I mean, seems de decent enough. You can use it for Synchro Summon. So we have Yellow Gadget. When it's normal or Special Summon, you can add one Green Gadget from your deck to your hand. A gold Gadget. When this card is normal or Special Summoned, you can special summon one level 4 machine monster from your hand. 
If this is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one level 4 gadget monster from your deck, except gold gadget. You can only use gold gadget effect once per turn. Not quite sure how I feel about uh, the gold and silver gadget. I believe silver gadget has the similar effect. But I mean, you know, you bring him, special summon out, say yellow gadget. You get uh, green gadget to your hand. Is that level 4? So, yeah, that's level 4. Yeah, I mean, you can use them for XZ summon or whatnot. So, overall, they're not too bad. And Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. To tribute summon this card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap you control instead of a monster. I'm noticing a trend with the true uh, Draco cards. Once per turn, when your opponent activates an effect, a card or effect, while you control this tribute summoned monster, you can take one true Draco or true King continuous spell from your deck and either activate it or add it to your hand. That, I think, was actually slightly different from the other two, where the other two were, I think, you could fetch out the monster instead. So. I'm kind of intrigued as to what the actual true Draco or true King uh, spells and traps actually do, then. Kind of like the uh, Fire Fist cards, where are the spell and traps, where I haven't seen any of those guys yet. I've seen a good chunk of the uh, decent amount of uh, gear cards so far, though. We have Talkback Lancer. You can tribute one other Cybers monster, then target one Code Talker monster in your graveyard with a different original name from that monster. Special summon it to your zone. This card points to. You can only use this effect of Talkback Lancer once per turn. I mean, it only has one arrow pointing straight back, but I mean, I guess uh, you can use it with one that has arrows pointing to the left and right to open up more spots. Prohibit Snake. At the start of the damage step, if your Cyber's Link monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, return that opponent's monster to the hand. When your Cyber's monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, while this is in your graveyard, you can banish one card from your graveyard, target one level 4 or lower Cyber's monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. So if your Cyber's Link monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and return that opponent's monster to the hand. That seems pretty nasty if you're uh, just swinging into your opponent's boss monster. You know, they go through a ton of hoops to bring it out, and then you just go, no, it, it goes away. And you know, your cyber monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, and you can banish. Hmm. I, I mean, seems fair enough for uh, cybers. Latency. If this card is added from your graveyard to your hand by a card effect, you can special summon it from your hand. Yeah, seems fair enough. If this card is special summoned this way, is sent to the graveyard as link material, you can draw one card, and you can use each effect only once per turn. I mean, if you have a way of reliably pulling it out of the graveyard, and then immediately using it for link summons, that, that's not too bad, then. Cynet Conflict. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated while you control a code talker monster, negate the activation, and if you do, banish that card, and if you do, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of, of cards with the same original name as that card that was banished until the end of the next turn. There's an older card that's uh, very similar to this one. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. Eh, it'll probably come to me. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Panda. If you activate a Fire Formation Spell or Trap card, except during the damage step, you can Special Summon this card from your hand, then you can Special Summon one Fire Fist monster from your graveyard. Also, you cannot Special Summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Fire Fist monsters. 
If I fire first monster you control will be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can only you can send one face up fire formation to the graveyard instead. Yeah, no, I mean that that seems uh, once again I have no idea what the actual fire formation spell or trap cards are, but I mean the actual first effect seems pretty decent for getting them out. No, it lets you pull somebody out of the graveyard with him. Where's the scene? Come on. There we go. <clears throat> so we have Swap Cleric. If this card is sent to the graveyard as link material, you can have that link monster lose 500 attack, then draw one card. You can use this effect only once per turn. Yeah, so I mean, I guess if you're going to be getting rid of the monster right away anyways for the link summon, then yeah, yeah, I mean, might as well get an extra card draw off of them. Amorphage Goliath. When you control an Amorphage monster, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead of instead except Amorphage cards. That That's actually a pretty nice uh, ability. Neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck, except Amorphage cards. Uh, was that the same effect as the other Amorphage that showed up? Hmm. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. If this card is fusion summoned, you can make this card gain attack equal to one or one opponent's special summon monster until the end of the turn. Once per turn, you can target one level 5 or higher monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card's name because that becomes that monster's original name and replace this effect with the, that monster's original effect. Huh. And if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all your opponent's special summon monsters. I mean, that's, um... I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I mean, the effects are quite nice. It requires two dark monsters except tokens. Good stats. I, I mean, overall, I, I probably like it. Just, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the, uh... You know, yeah, no, I'm going to say that's a good effect, because, I mean, if you want it, you have it. If you don't need it, you know what? Better to have it and not need it, right? Chronograph Sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ultimate Fire Formation. Sinto. When a spell or trap card is activated, while well, you control a Fire Fist monster and a Fire Formation spell or trap, Negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card, you can only activate one ultimate fire formation Sinto per turn. You know what, I mean, it's a few hoops to jump through, but considering you don't have to pay life points or anything, and you can just straight up negate the spell or trap, bit of a shame that you can only activate one per turn, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Code Talker gains 500 attack for each monster this card points to, cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects, while this card points to a monster. I mean, it's... stats aren't really anything to write home about. But, I mean, it can't be destroyed by ba opponent's card effects as long as it has something it's pointing to, so... Yeah, I mean, it seems decent enough. Boot up Corporal Command Dynamo. You can target up to two machine gadget monsters you control, or in your graveyard with different names. Special summon this card from your, your hand, then equip those targets to this card regardless of their type. You can only use the effect once per turn. Gains 1,000 attack for each monster equipped to this card by this effect. So, I mean, he... 
I'm assuming that he does not count as a gadget himself for the effect, so you can, I don't think you would be able to fetch him out with, uh... Oh, what, what was the wording on, uh, gold? The gold gear. Gold gear was... Oh, no, it is just some, summon one level four monster from your hand. So, I mean, you'd be able to summon him out with, uh, gold gadget, at least. You wouldn't be able to, uh, search for him after the gold gadget for the other gold gadgets effect, but I mean, you can still uh, special summon them at least. So that's not too bad. And silver gadget, when it's normal or special summon, you can special summon one level four machine monster from your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one level four gadget from your deck except silver gadget. You can only use once effect, one effect per turn and only once that turn. So, you know, same thing as uh, Gold Gadget, but Silver. Another Signet Optimization. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Peacock. While this card points to a Fire Fist monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Fair enough. While this card declares an attack, you can send one face-up fire formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard. Then target one monster your opponent controls. Place that opponent's monster in a zone that this card points to and take control of it until the end phase. It cannot declare an attack this turn. You can only use the effect once per turn. So, I mean, it seems decent enough for uh, focus. Seems decent enough for uh, stealing your opponent's monsters, tributing them away. And as long as you're able to have it pointing to a uh, another Fire Fist monster, you know, it seems like it has some decent protection. So we have Signet Conflict. When a spell or trap or monster effect is activated while you control a Code Talker, negate the activation if you do banish that card, and if you do, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects... Yeah, I've seen this one already. You know, it's decent enough effect. Another talkback lancer. Shooting code talker. At the start of your battle phase, you can activate this effect. This battle phase, this card can make attacks on your opponent's monsters up to the number of monsters. This card currently points to plus one. But this turn, when it attacks your opponent's only monster, this card loses 400 attack during uh, during the damage calculation only. At the end of each battle phase, you're, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters this card destroyed by battle each turn, or this turn. Yeah, so I'm guessing it's 2300 attack until your opponent only has one left, at which point it becomes... Uh, seven, eighteen hundred. No, nineteen hundred. I can math. <laughs> Another dynamite knight, true Draco fighter. Oh no, he brings out uh, continuous traps from the deck. Okay. Fire fortress atop Liang Peak. It's always treated as a fire formation card. Each time a Fire Fist monster is normal or special summon, place one Fire Fist counter on this card. Once per turn, you can remove Fire Fist cards from from your field to activate one of these effects. Two is your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step when your Beast Warriors attack. Six is add one Beast Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. And ten is special summon one Beast Warrior monster from your deck or extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Hmm... <sighs> I won't lie, I'm not that big a fan of this. I mean, because it's every time a, a Fire Fist monster is normal or special summoned, I, I mean, the two effect is decent enough that you might play it for that, but, I mean, you still have to uh, be summoning at least two monsters a turn to get it off reliably.
Brotherhood of the Fist Rooster. When it's a special summon by the effect of a Fire Fist, you can add one Fire Fist from your monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. And once per turn, you can send one Fire Formation Spell or Trap to the graveyard. Set one Fire Formation Spell or Trap directly from your deck. Another Chronograph Sorcerer. Another Red Gadget. Oh, another Gold Gadget. And Arcfiend's Ascent. This card name becomes Summon Skull on the field, but it's still treated as an Arcfiend card. If Summon Skull you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. If this Xyz su Summon card you control is sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one su uh, Summon Skull from your hand deck or graveyard. I mean, I'm going to have to check afterwards to see, but I think I've pulled every... Uh, let's see here, I've got gone Xyz, I've gotten Fusion, I've gone Synchro... If there's a Link one, I haven't pulled it yet, but... I mean, I mean, good artwork on them. Good effects. Yeah, because that only said uh, they get treated as Summon Skull while on the field, right? Yeah, only when it's on the field, so you can't... Uh, You can't pull them from the uh, discard by their own effect, unfortunately. Amorphage Lechery. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal. You can detach two materials from this card, then target two Fire Fist slash Fire Formation cards in your graveyard. And or face up on the field, and two cards in your opponent's graveyard, and or face up on the field, shuffle those cards into the deck. You can only use this effect once per turn, but it's decent enough for re uh, resetting your ma, your spells and traps, and or your uh, monsters, and you know, you can take out any uh, problem cards in your opponent's graveyard. Subterror Final Battle. Another boot up Corporal. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swan. If this card is special summoned, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each Fire Fist for for each Fire Formation spell or trap you control. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can send one face up Fire Formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. You can only use each effect once per turn. Yeah, no, I mean, seems decent enough. Another gold gadget. Oh, another power hold. Another amorphage goliath. Another green gadget. And another fire fortress. Yeah, because I'm... I mean, it's field spell. Pretty sure you can only have one field spell on the field. If, if you could have multiple of these down, uh, then I wouldn't mind them so much, because then you could at least have it. So, uh, you'd have the... Uh, Two token effect uh, ready to go more often or you could use you know one or two of them for uh, the two effect and let the third one build up for you know the six or ten so we have silver gadget another brotherhood of the fire fist spirit another cardinal Raster Liger. You can target one Link Monster in either graveyard. This card gains attack equal to that target's attack until the end of this turn. Oh, that's uh, quite nice. You can tribute any number of your opponent, any number of your monsters. This card points to destroy an equal number of cards on the field. You can use only use each effect once per turn. But I mean that that's still uh, very nice. Uh, Ability. I mean, it just targets the link monster, doesn't uh, banish them. So you, if you have uh, something with a good 
attack value, you can just keep adding it on. And fire formation, Ingen. When this card is activated, you can fusion summon one beast warrior fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. You know, I, I can't say lie, uh, I can't say no to things that give you uh, the polymerization effect, just because that's... If you want to run stuff that requires fusion, you need polymerization. You can only have three copies of polymerization. Things that give you that effect plus other stuff, it's always nice. If this card is face up, if this face up card is sent from the spell or tra and trap zone to the graveyard, you can target one fire fist monster on your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. You can only activate it once per turn, or you can only activate one per turn. Yeah, so I mean that that's not bad. It feeds the uh, fire fist cards, gives you an effect when it goes to the graveyard. Gives you a free, polymer, uh, free polymerization effect on top of that. So we have sign it optimization, another code talker, another raster liger, another latency. And another Archfiend's Ascent. We have a Fire Formation Yoko. When this card is activated, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls, discard one beast, car uh, beast Warrior monster, and if you do, destroy that card. And all Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 100 attack. I mean, it's... I mean, it gives you something that you can use just to uh, make one of your opponent's cards go away. The attack buff isn't that good, but I mean, you're having this out there so you have something to discard for the Fire Fist effects. Another Boot Up Order Gear Charge. Another Prohibit Snake, another Swap Cleric, and another Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto. So we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla. Once per turn, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can set one fire formation spell directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can send one face up fire formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard, target one space, one face up spell or trap on the field, destroy that target. Yeah, no, I mean, stats aren't quite good, so I'm not sure how often it'll be destroying an opponent's monster by battle. But, I mean, if you can. Buff them up a little bit. You can uh, pull out the fire formation spells fairly reliably. You know, and he can negate spell and trap cards, so that's not too bad. We have another spirit. We have another bear. We have the hidden city. When this card is activated, you can add one sub-terror monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can change one face-down defense position sub-terror monster you control to face-up attack or defense position. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can change one face-down defense position sub-terror monster you control to face-up attack or defense position. Then you can negate the attack. And you can only activate it once per turn. Oh, there's a ritual version of this. Interesting. Arcfiend's Awakening. You can Ritual Summon this card with Contract with the Abyss. This card's name becomes Summoned Skull on the field, but is still treated as an Arc Fiend. Cannot be destroyed by battle except by battle with a Ritual Monster. And cannot be destroyed by monster effects except those of Ritual Monsters. If this Ritual Summon you control is sent to the graveyard, you can Special Summon one Summoned Skull. That's, uh... That's not too bad. Like, he's still open to uh, Spell and Traps, but still, I mean... 
just the fact that your opponent has to use a ritual monster uh, to deal with them, at least monster-wise, is not bad. Like, I don't know how many ritual cards are played these days, but... Uh, there's another Defcon bird. Another Sub-Terror Final Battle. Another bear. We have a Amorphage Sloth. When you, while you control an Amorphage monster, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand, except by drawing them. Once per turn, during your standby phase, tribute one monster or destroy this card. And neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck, except Amorphage. I mean, that's... Uh, that's not too bad at all. And another Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. We have Silver Gadget, Yellow Gadget, Raster Liger, Boot Up Order Gear Charge, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram. When this card is normal summoned, you can discard one card, then target one fire formation spell or trap you control. Set one fire formation spell or trap with a different name directly from your deck. I mean, that's not too bad. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a fire fist monster, you can set one fire formation spell or trap directly from your deck with a different name from the cards in your graveyard. Not sure how I feel about that one. Like, I'm not sure how many uh, Fire Fist or Fire Formation uh, spells and traps there are, so I'm not sure if it'll be a case of, like, later on, he would just be a dead... Like, that, that effect would have no effect. We have... Another Subterror Fiendus. Another Shooting Code Talker. Another Code Talker. Another Amorphage Goliath. And another Arcfiend's Call. Give. I think this is the third uh, Senate conflict I've seen now. Another shooting code talker. Another boot up corporal. Another swap cleric. And another Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swan. And we have another Majestic Maiden, the true Draco caster. Uh, Latency. Dynamite Knight. Another Immorphage Lechery. And another Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Peacock. Fire Formation Tensu. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Beast Warrior monster in addition to your normal summon slash set. I mean, that's a nice effect. You can only gain this effect once per turn. All Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 100 attack. The Red Gadget. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster. Cardinal. And Fire Formation Dome. When this card is activated, you can Ritual Summon one Beast Warrior Ritual Monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed its level. If this face-up card is sent from the field and spell trap zone to the graveyard, you can target one Fire Fist Monster from your graveyard, Special Summon it. You can only use this effect Fire Formation once per turn. You can only activate it once per turn. 
Haven't seen any uh, Fire Fist Ritual Monsters, I think. But then again, this it doesn't specify Fire Fist. It's just Beast Warrior Ritual. And I mean, just having a blanket... Uh, Basically, a blanket ritual uh, card is pretty nice. I'm just trying to remember if uh, what, what was this DNA surgery? If that uh, affects cards in hand as well, put the arc fiend uh, in there. It's like, yeah, no, no, the arc fiend is totally a beast warrior, guys. And the last pack, we have. Talkback Lancer, Fire Formation Yoko, Fire Formation Tensu, Gorilla, and Fire Formation Tenki. When this card is activated, you can add one level 4 lower Beast Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. All Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 100 attack. I mean, yeah, decent enough. And I do see, I, I see what's going on with the Fire Formation cards now. So, I mean, that, that's not bad at all. So, if you've made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. And, you know, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. You, you, you know the routine. Thank you.